I have a few things that I'd like to say, and I know they might sound a bit cliche, but look at the state we are in. The earthbound, dust-loving grub we are within, surrounded by pain and sin, each one of us akin, trying to be like him. Around us, a godless generation, they say, who is God? What is the fuss? No, stop, this is not to be discussed. Instead, come, join us. A pattern full of lust. And to be honest, it could be so easy to be swept away, but in the end, without God, we will be dust. And when I think about the world that surrounds us, I see a corrupt society with no promise of any peace and prosperity. Instead, poverty, rising humidity, individuals suffering from depression and anxiety, a world where people would rather climb the social ladder, scale the corporate hierarchy, hold a trophy or take a moment of glory. They would rather gain money for a few moments of bliss, get their names on a list, achieve an award, and what? For this? Most people today live a life that is totally meaningless, but is a lifetime of short-term pleasure true happiness? You are copied and pasted with a label, and how ironic, it comes from a world that feeds off the unstable. You see, trends dictate everything you say and you're constantly chasing up to date. Billboards and Instagram push perfect, but in the end, you're left feeling like you're not worth it. Think about it. Have you ever considered that perhaps a world that exposes your weakness isn't really out to look for your best interests? Instead, remember and reach for the gift our God did provide. Remember the gift of life our God has supplied. The reason of hope because of him who died. And our God is a God who has never lied. So you have no reason to try and hide. Every breath that you take, every time that you wake, every silly mistake, there is a new chance to make the most of the opportunities you've been given. And even if you're going to break, you think, I must be such a fake. God gives you another breath to shake that feeling and draw closer to him again despite the heartache. Because the ultimate battle is already won. Don't forget the victory over sin and death was conquered by God's son. And because of this victory, anyone and everyone can come. And if they choose, can gain freedom in Christ from the sins that they've done. We've all been called, and God will complete in us the work he's begun. The world will entice, try to call us away, but we have nothing to fear. Christ already paid that ultimate price and made the greatest sacrifice. God wants you with him. Call him while you can. Put into action Christ's advice in your life. Nothing else will last or suffice. So in everything you do, let your inner man reveal Jesus Christ in you.